This is Grace just a couple of years ago, a perfectly healthy five-year-old girl. Until one day at one of her soccer matches, Grace fell down. No one thought anything about it at first until she fell down again. Grace told her mother, there's an invisible monster stealing my ability to walk. In January of 2016, Grace went into a rapid decline. She started losing her balance constantly and her speech began to deteriorate. In March of 2007, Grace's invisible monster finally got a name, Frederick's Ataxia, also called F.A. The earlier you get it, the more severe that it is. Some people start to show symptoms when they're 20 and you know, they'll, they'll live a long life and never need a wheelchair. Grace, when she started showing symptoms, she needed a wheelchair within five months. How was that for you going from having a perfectly, you know, healthy girl to, you know, suddenly? Uh, it killed us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially because it took so long to figure out what was going on. We were just watching her deteriorate and oh. there was nothing that we could do. It's got to be the most, like, helpless feeling. It, it really was. What started with a loss of coordination in the arms and legs graduated to hearing loss and slurred speech, aggressive scoliosis, then diabetes, and now serious heart conditions. It's an incredibly heartbreaking future for such a vibrant little girl. American poet and author Harriet Beecher Stowe once famously said, when you get into a tight place and everything goes against you until it seems you can't hold on for a minute longer, never give up. For it is just in that place and time when the tide will turn. I'd like to think the moment that Chive Nation touched down in Oceanside, California, the tide turned. The cavalry had arrived. Hi Grace, I'm John. I'm your new favorite person. I mean, you're my, you're my favorite person. First things first, Grace needs reliable transportation, not only to get to the ocean, but to get to and from her doctor's appointment. So last month, Chive Charities Green Ribbon donors funded $49,000 for a brand new Brownability van. With the transportation taken care of, now it's time for the fun stuff. Grace wants to go surfing. Surfing has helped her so much. Because a lot of kids get, you know, really angry losing their ability to walk. Because it's not like she was born not knowing what it's like to walk. She knows that she used to be able to do these things, and now that she can't, it just, like I said, she gets frustrated. And this is the way we get her unangry. So days like these are, are the, the good days. Oh yeah, the good days are what get, gets us through the bad days. <laughs> you like being close to the ocean? Yeah. I love those. Is it your favorite? Yeah. She tells me on the waves, I feel like I can fly, and I'm not the girl in the wheelchair. I'm just Grace. John Afshari is Grace's surfing instructor. He told me Grace chooses her wave. She knows how to navigate the surf, and I think you're really going to be surprised how good she really is. Grace is fearless in the water. Back on the beach, we all sat there and watched in awe as Grace did her thing. All of Chibon, California showed up to support Grace as well. It was an amazing day. The surfing community in California really welcomed Grace with open arms and clear message to everybody. It doesn't matter that she's disabled. She's a surfer. She's one of us. Afterwards, Grace put her head on my shoulder and whispered, thank you for helping me. That was her own moment. What she wants most is to go to Duke's Ocean Fest in Hawaii, where adaptive surfers like her compete. There's even a protective cove at the event where the waves are smaller and less likely to knock her off her board. She wants to meet other kids just like her. Oh, and she wants to meet professional surfer Bethany Hamilton. Really bad. Remember how I told you there was a big surprise coming today? The people at Tribe Charities are going to try to raise $10,000 so you can go to Hawaii. No, Duke's Fest. you lying. I'm not lying. No. You're alive. No. <laughs> Duke's Ocean Fest takes place at the end of August. We set the goal at $10,000 so Grace can go live the mermaid life for a week in Hawaii. To meet someone who's seven years old and their entire family that's faced with a situation that would probably emotionally cripple most individuals, like, it's inspirational. It's like you want to be a better human being because an eight-year-old has taught you how to. The Chivers have always regarded a goal much as one regards a stop sign on a rural country road, briefly regarding it and then putting the pedal to the floor. The Chive community hit Grace's $10,000 goal in an hour flat. 
thanks to the Chiver's generosity, in less than 24 hours, they would more than double the goal. Okay, Grace, ready, set, open them. You met your goal, you're going to Duke's Fest. You're going to. I love you too. What do you have to, for all, what do you have to say to all the people at the Chive? I love you. Grace is now getting everything she needs to continue her fight.